Wow, that fired really quickly. What's going on, guys? Rain loss, what's going on? Uh, welcome back to another uh, Guild Pact Dissension Innistrad Q. God, I've, really had, I've been having some bad luck with Is It going 1 2, but. Or 0 2 sometimes, but this card is very good. It's got to be better than anything else in this pack. This pack is pretty hey. mediocre. Brickbeard, thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back. Seven actions is my lucky number, so this is my lucky stream month. I hope that's true. I hope that's correct. Um, oh, what's going on? You guys seem to show up immediately. Wow, what happened? How did all these... Where did all these chats come from? Thank you. Six Wander, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. I'm just going to go with Expansion Explosion. Ugh. Every time I get this card, I either draw it too late or I don't draw it. Or my opponent has it and they, they play it against me. One of those things happens, though, in all my games. A little watery grave. Also a disinformation campaign, eh? I always check these, uh, these fetch land prices just to make sure. But, um, they're never any good. Let's refresh. And watery grave... Watery Grave, 85 cents, one dollar. So, here we are. Disinformation campaign? Maybe? Maybe? Sea Monk, thank you so much for the reset. Welcome back. I'm gonna take the disinformation campaign. Because at worst we can splash it. Can't really splash this. All right, we'll take a command the storm. Again, this pack is pretty unimpressive. Nothing super exciting here. Pretty low, like some low tier picks here with severed strands or maximized altitude. Cards that you'll you'll definitely play if you get them in your archetype, but you're not really super excited about. But command the storm is pretty very good. We can take Demir Guildgate. Just make sure we can play this information campaign. We also don't have to play this necessarily, or we can just cop. We can play the first half. So I think it's probably Guildgate because I think it's worth definitely playing Disinformation Campaign. So if we can go Grixis, I'm okay with that. Oh, Crater Maker, but also Night Veil Sprite? That's interesting. Huh. I'm watching on YouTube and finally logged in and used my Prime sub. Keep doing this all. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. I'm glad you also appreciate the miles. That's good stuff. Yeah, Night Veil Sprite's fantastic. And it fits in both Demir and Is It, so it's a little bit better. And we also have Disinformation Campaign. Ooh, boy, that is a combo, isn't it? It's probably Hellkite Whelp. I don't think I care about Narcomia, but we do have a Night Veil Sprite. Oh, oh, would you have Japoshi? You would have taken the Piston Fist Cyclops over the Guildgate, but you would have taken Watery Grave over Disinformation Campaign? Huh. Well, then. Maybe you're not Nature's Little Treasure after all. I think it's one of these three. I don't know which one, though. Probably... Eh, we're gonna go with the Hellkite Whelp. It's just the strongest card. Radical Idea, you're fine. <laughs> oh, dare you. Listen, buddy. Listen. Are you listening? I want you to listen. I want to make sure you're listening here. Happy to see you taking the land. I always feel slightly... How, how dare you, Casper? How dare you tell me I underestimate lands? Yeah, I'm not a big Narco Meeba fan either. I, like, the the biggest upside is you surveil it in the graveyard and get a 1-1 one, one flyer for free. That doesn't seem that good to me. But maybe, you know, maybe I'm crazy. What do I know? It's one of these two. I think I'll just take the Passwall Adept. I, I'm not... Oh, we'll just get a rewarded with the Radical Ideas here. So that's good. Radical Ideas is a card that I thought was absolutely garbage at first. And then it grew on me once I realized how many instant and sorcery matters spells there are which makes it very important actually it makes it yeah uh, i like having a wave more than I like having a second pass while adept so oh maximize altitude is a nice pickup i i don't see these as frequently anymore which is troubling <laughs> yeah narcomy is great when you can sack it to dread return hence why they ban dread return 
I also don't understand why Narcan Weaver is rare. Maybe it's because of the... Um, maybe it's because of how much surveil there is. Like, if you could just get, like... Yeah, but even so, like, you rarely have multiple of the same uncommon. So it's not like you'd get, like, a deck with four or five Narco Amoebas in it. And even if you did, I'm not even sure it's that powerful. So, yeah, I don't understand why it's rare either. Like, it's just not a rare... I mean, the effect is kind of unique. So it might be rare based solely on... Um, solely on the effect. So basically, Grixis with a disinformation, or yeah, basically, uh, is it with a disinformation campaign, and unintentionally as well. Like we just didn't see many good black cards, but we saw some pretty solid blue and red cards coming. So that's a good sign. They're not going to reprint a rare as an uncommon. No, I mean they've done that. They've done that multiple times in Magic, and they also Narcomu was an uncommon. So that doesn't really it's not really relevant oh mausoleum secrets oh night veil sprite number dose that's got to be the best card in this pack Like, I can think of several times where they reprinted a a rare and uncommon. And, again, was not rare. Uh, okay, then, I did not know that. <laughs> then why did you say it? Why make a claim like that if you would actually have no factual basis for it? That's hilarious. This is, how, this is how fake news happens, guys. People just say things that they think are true without any sort of evidence or any sort of previous knowledge. And then they're like, oh, I was wrong. I presented it as a fact, but I knew in my heart I did not know for sure, but I did not care. I mean, Mark Narcomiva, un the uncommon Narcomiva from Future Sight is only like 297. You can get them on TCG Player for 143. So making it an uncommon for secondary market doesn't really make much sense to me. What's it going to drop to 75 cents instead? I mean, that doesn't really, that doesn't really, no. I ain't, I ain't about that. Uh, we'll take the Muse Drake. Because there's literally nothing else in this pack. Like, we can take a black card, but I'm not, I'm not thrilled about it. I got primers to win. Facts can wait. <laughs> <laughs> Disinformation campaign number two seems pretty good. We're not going to play a Deafening Clarion. Um, two Nightfell Sprites and two Disinformation campaigns feels pretty strong. And maybe this Dark Blade Agent or this Demir Guildgate comes back. I doubt it, but maybe. Yeah, they might as well just make it a Mythic at that point. It's a mythic rare. W w why? Uh, you know. Oh, direct current. That is a solid card. We're still not super red at this point. Like, look at our. Let's let's split it up. Yeah, we're actually pretty red. Yeah, direct current's probably better than hypothesis at this point. I think direct current's just a better card than hypothesis, but. Double raid could be problematic though. Like, Narco Amoeba is very important to the storyline. Even if that's true, I think it's fine. To, I don't think that has any bearing on why it needs to be a rare. Uh, don't see us taking a guild's artful takedown. Seems great here. Wow, that's a good. That's a good pickup. I don't like the double red either. I'll be honest. Um, we do have an is it locket that I'm okay playing. I'm also gonna take this gateway plaza. Got a Wisconsin Crab. I like having a Wisconsin Crab just, just to have it. I'll take a Devious Cover-Up just to have it, I think. I I, I could see playing Pass Wall at it because you kind of want to sit behind Nightfell Sprites and Disinformation Campaigns and, and block a lot of their stuff. What's up, Tim? However, I think I like just having one Devious Cover-Up just for the sake of having it. Oh, man, look at this. Look at this Abzan pack. Good lord. I got two shield mates on my sideboard. 
Guild gates are premium now, apparently. Probably not playing two lockets, uh, unlike that one time that I did accidentally because I had not literally nothing else. <laughs> oh, is it like I'm just gonna take the flight of the flight of the Concords over here? Oh, Wall of Mist is actually not terrible because it. Wow, three is it lockets, huh? Guild Mages Forum. That's what we're actually hoping for. That's pretty sweet. Uh, JK, actually not what we're hoping for at all. And I'm probably just going to take the Guild Gate. Deadly Visit's actually fantastic. I think it's probably Deadly Visit. I took the Deadly Visit. I don't love it, but I'm going to I'm gonna prioritize the Is It and Demir Guild Gates that we come across now, so we'll see. I don't think our deck is great so far, but I think it's actually got some good cards in it. Venerated Loxodon, why are you always here? Whisper Agent is probably better than Leapfrog. Yeah, and we Surveil. Alright, I, I can get down with that. Demir Guildgate, god, I like a Crater Maker a lot. The people's, the, the, on the people's dime again. <laughs> Good times. Uh, it's either Crater Maker or it's a Demir Guildgate. I'm pretty sure we gotta take the Guildgate. Two two that shoots for for two is not super. I like it coming out of the storm. It's not. It's not. Yeah, it's just gonna be command here. Oh, Watcher in the Mist. That's nice. That's a nice one. Why you hate Cyclops? I just don't think Cyclops is great for our deck particularly. Ooh, is it Guildgate or Hypothesizzle? How many more five drops do we need is the question. And a Command the Storm in this pack? Woo! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. Two cards are coming back, huh? I guess I could always look up here. I've never seen that before, actually. Yeah, we're probably going to see uh, Flight again and Maniacal Rage. That's my guess. I think i got to go Guildgate. I don't think I need either of these, and the Guildgate's pretty relevant to my interests. I also have nothing in my hair today. Just, just running it, run it all, nat all natural, as you do. This might be a Wisconsin deck. I could see putting the uh, the old. Actually, it might be a Wall of Mist deck too. We're probably going to try to get there on our on our disinformation Night Vale Sprite campaign. I like Demir Informant a lot. It surveils, but I like Demir Guildgate even better because of our mana base. We do only have eleven creatures though, and God, this is another Command the Storm. This is unbelievable. Paul, Paul, <laughs> Moose, Paul made. I love it. Uh, I'm going to take the Informant. I feel like it's a little better for this deck. We already have three Guild Gates, which is not a lot, but it's still good. It's still better than none. We have three Guild Gates and a Locket, so that's okay. What the hell? This is a third Night Veil Sprite? With two Disinformation Campaigns, I almost want the Night Veil Sprite. I like House Guild Mage as well, but, like... No, Nightfall Sprite's got to be the pick here, right? I'll just play three. That's insane, dude. That is a late Radical Ideas. Yeah, I'll still take it. There's nothing else in that pack for us. Can pass those green two drops... Keep keep on going. Ha, da, 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 dun, dun. I'll take a Demir. Actually, I'll take a Robo Bore. That might be playable. Another Wish Coin Crab. Sure. Bah. 
I'm gonna bonus, I'll like pass one up. Probably gonna play that over the wall of mist. Oh, ornery goblin and maniacal rage. So I was halfway there. Super Saiyan, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. I'm a big fan of your race. All right, so we have 26 playables here. I'm not sure this is a maximized altitude deck. A lot of our guys fly, actually, so we can actually cut that. Um, probably want to cut one of these. I really don't want to cut the command of the storms, or the I don't want to cut the removal of the flyers, but that's literally all there are. Radical ideas. This is not a great radical idea deck. And one other thing, probably ornery goblin. Yeah, I actually like this a lot. Roll of Elf Orders are nice with the uh, the floaters, like we Dragonauts or Nifel Sprites, and yeah, this deck actually seems pretty okay. I actually forgot about Gateway Plaza, which is nice. All right, so double black is going to be rough, but I think it's fine to have one deadly visit. I, yeah, but this is fine. Like, I don't, I don't care if I draw direct current until like turn eight or nine. Like, it's really not a big deal. So five. This is nine blue. Three, four, five, nine, six, seven. Four, five, six, seven, five, six, seven. This is eight, seven, seven. Eight, seven, seven seems pretty good. That's some reasonable. How do you like the format so far? And first, I haven't had time to draft it myself. My only inside limit is three. Uh, I, I think it's good. I like it a lot. I have been enjoying it. Wow, we're playing Santa Long Underscore Claws. That's interesting. <coughs> Excuse me. Ooh, yes. Keep. Snap, keep. Oh, we also have Is It Locket, which means we have another source of red if we want it. I mean, 3-5 drops is not ideal, but we have things to do when we're on the play, so. We have all our colors. We have double red, double blue, and double black, so. That's all very okay with me. And then we have Artful Takedown into either one of these sweet five drops. Look at that little guy. I'm seeing here at 534 still. This bodes well for the end. Uh, it's looking good. I think it's looking good. It actually we went up to 534 yesterday. Yesterday we started at like 520. Today we are up to 534. I think we started today at 531. So three of those subs that we got today actually went up. Are you going to play like a has the guy? Do you has to play that? Okay, that's fine. That was actually a decent draw. That's, I mean, I would rather have a land because then we can help Kite well, but... Also, uh, do we have the Cosmotronic Wave in the main deck? No, that's definitely coming in. Against three Boros creatures, I don't really trust uh, just putting or just throwing a rubble belt board down and blocking because any any trick literally kills it. Plus one, any plus one plus one spell kills it without any. Uh... So I'd actually much rather be able to uh, just prevent four here instead of. We could not do it, just take five, go to 13, but uh, considering our mana is going to be tied up for the next four turns, it's really not great to just waste our... to just not use four mana. I could also see commanding the storm on this guy. It's very strong. Hmm. 
So one, two, three, four, five, six. We're taking eight if we don't block anything, and blocking is a pretty, pretty scary proposition. I mean, direct current would have been significantly better there. Kill the unicorn and still have some mana left over, but. Well, they didn't play anything on turn four, so that's interesting. They also missed a land drop, and they didn't play anything on turn five. I guess they did play something on turn four. It was the unicorn, but then they didn't play anything on five, so that's interesting. One hundred percent silent assassin on Hitman. <laughs> that's good. I haven't played Hitman, but that sounds like the, the, the highest tier. Yeah, I'm just going to take three here. Uh, you clearly have something, so, you know, I'm not going to really argue with your shenanigans. This is where I get to shoot you. Boy, that sounds pretty dark. This guy. I just it's all worth it now. I just ate that guy. It's all good. So one, two, three, four, five. Watcher in the mist. Burn 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 burn. Uh I'll put you on top and you can leave and never come back. And I will say yes. Yes to you. I will prevent that. I will prevent my land from dying. It's nice to drive in the six barber for me. Three out of nine teachers. Oh, army school being with. Give my job of being moved from seventh to third. Oh, that's. Oh God, none of that sounds good. Also, being from switch from seventh grade to third grade seems like a huge change. All right, so you clearly have sure strike because takedown wouldn't do it. Yeah, we're not gonna just. I'm just gonna. I'll block next turn when I have command the storm, or I can just shoot this idiot. <laughs> I'm okay with going to ten. What do they have in their hands? I don't understand. One, two, three, four. I could just also deal six and just play a boar, or actually, we'll just play Muse Drake and not care about. Class is over, I can finally take you off mute. I come at a point where, like, if you want to sure strike my muse drake, sure strike my muse drake, that's, that's just okay. Direct current off the top. Rubble belt bore number dose. Into this world we're thrown, riders on the storm. I'm actually afraid they might have four sure strikes, so I'm just going to block here. Let's see it. Take heart. Okay. Okay. One down. They gain like four life. It's pretty good. But they could be like sure strike, sure strike, take down, which is one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine damage. And that seems bad, so. Gravitic Punch, I'll take three. You got it. One, two, three, four. Yeah, we can actually just play two dudes here. 
Oh, uh, that's pretty stupid. Wow. Wow. I just rushed right into combat instead of dealing extra 5 damage, 4 damage. I guess we can do that next turn. They don't have any creatures on board. We can keep up Command of the Storm in case they play something with haste. And then, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9. Yeah, I'm just going to pretend it didn't happen. <clears throat> Yoakum with the 56 month in a row. That's like Hunter's retirement age. <laughs> Thank you so much, buddy. Oh, man. You actually come up in the chat quite frequently. And we're always like, where's Yoakum? And I'm like, Yoakum doesn't play as much magic anymore, but he is still one of my longest supporters, and uh, I am extremely grateful for it. That's a ridiculous amount of time. That's closing in on five years. Let's draw some cards here. To be perfectly honest, I watch almost no magic streams. Yeah, I figured. I, I mean, I had a feeling. I knew you kind of, uh, kind of backed out of magic a bit, so that does not surprise me. That is a lot of months. You are correct. You might say that's the most amount of months that you could ever have. Ever. And now we're gonna play a. Actually, we can just play Land Storm again. I think we just keep up the storm. It's two turn clock either way. What are they discard a mountain? Okay. <laughs> Frank and the Barbobbly Booze. What's going on? <laughs> oh, good times. What is this? What are you doing? I see. Huh. JTH, thank you so much for the resub. Welcome, or the regular sub, right? Thank you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I uh, got a little. Oh, are you just gonna? Okay, that's fine. Oh, they're gonna. Oh, this is why we kept this up. Now they're gonna try to gravitic punch, and we're gonna kill it in response. Ooh, so close. And to this world we're thrown, riders on the storm. Thank you. I was gonna say it's literally. I'm like, you, you, your your name is Frank and the Barbobbly Booze. You clearly made your name based entirely on this stream. You have a Twitch Prime account, and yet you are not subbed with your Twitch Prime sub. That seems like a crime. However, Josh, thank you so much for the... <laughs> they have given 86 gift subs in this channel. Yeah, that's a reasonable amount. Yeah, I don't know why the doors are stuck in my head. Oh, was it... Oh, it's because of Command the Storm. So now I have Riders on the... Riders on the Storm. Now it's just stuck in my head. Now that's life. <sighs> Into this world with home. Riders on your face. Bang, 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 bang. Ornery Goblin also seems real good against this deck, so. It was, it is my first time for Prime and I was just about to use it. Oh man, Josh actually beat you to it. Get wrecked. I guess you didn't really get wrecked. That's not really getting wrecked, is it? Our deck seems very good against theirs uh, because all of our guys block their guys. Their two ones get blocked by our one threes. This guy blocks all of their one toughness guys. Uh, we have a wish coin crab, which is just Chef's kiss that guy, muy bueno. I'll take one bore out, I think. You made me realize how easy that song is to get stuck in your head. Yeah, now you, now it's in yours. Get wrecked. Suck on them doors, eggs. One of my favorite door songs is actually it's called the end, and I think it's probably like a it's like a lesser known song, but not really. This is a great hand. I'll keep it. Wisconsin Cur Facetious Elephant, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Wait. <laughs> Yoakum, did you... How did you know about Wishcoin? How did you know about Wisconsin Crab? You don't even play Magic anymore. I got this double Night Veil sprite hand. That's pretty good. Is, Dev is the end not lesser known? I don't know. It doesn't seem like a. It doesn't seem like one of their hits. Like it's not like a, it's not like a, it's obviously not a radio track. Wow. All right. Well, Tajik is pretty good. Oh, 
oh, I do play Magic, I just don't watch streams. Well, my bad. Hmm, excuse me. Yeah, you're not a big drafter. That's true. That is... I'm tempted to just play another Night Vale Sprite and, Sprite and Block, but good lord, how many ways can that go wrong for us? I'm actually afraid because we don't have any dead weights. I guess we can hit... Uh, graveyard. We could hit direct current. No, uh, yeah, we can. We can hit direct current. And we can play this guy and just block next turn for funsies. That's because you crush me every time. How many times have we drafted together? Uh, no blocks. Yikes, this guy is really problematic. So this guy becomes a 3 4. Uh, it's really annoying. I'm pretty sure we just can't beat turn 1, turn 3 Tajik, which feels really terrible. Four at least? Actually, that sounds about right. My favorite door song is Paperback, right? Uh, do you, I do know Gwent. I am familiar with Gwent. I haven't played Gwent, but I know Gwent. This guy seems good here. Upgrade Brigade with the seven months in a row. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. I really just want to dig deeper, but... Oh, God, we can't even get past this guy anymore. All right, we're just going to play this guy. I, I think it's just better. I can't even attack anymore. Yeah, they actually sent me a free copy of uh, Thronebreaker, which is kind of funny. I got an email from them, and they're like, hey, we'd like to give you a free copy. And I was like, all right, cool. Is this just the end? Oh, of course not. Oh, first strike. That's a good ability. I forgot about that. Ha, 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 because it has 19 different abilities. Oh, biscuits. We had no way around that anyway. Like, there's nothing we could do. It's just a matter of not wanting to take three at this point. Oh, my God. Come on, dude. I think we're just dead. I think we're literally just dead to, to these two creatures. We have two Command the Storms, a Deadly Visit, uh, Direct Current, Artful Takedown. All of these cards would have done done stuff against these guys, but... Yeah, this is pretty good. I guess they can only hit one dude, so that's fine. It's not. We're at 11. It's not fine. Like, if they kill this guy, it doesn't matter if we have two or one, so we're just going to get the two for one here. It's whatever. Yeah, never don't have it. Yep. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, one, two, three, four, five. Yep. Eight lands, five spells. Not ideal. Or that's how I was like, our matchup seems pretty good against them. Actually, I'm going to take the other board out and put the Wish Coin Crab in. I think Wishcoin Crab is just better here. I don't know why I didn't put the second one in. Probably because I'm not very good at magic, but, you know. What can you do? We 
we did assemble all of our swamps. Literally all of our swamps, I imagine. That's probably correct. Riders on the storm. I will play first. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. This is a hand. This is a hand, my boy. We're going to actually play this guy first. Um, and then we're going to go disinformation campaign and then get it right back. Oh, and they went to six. Ooh, we're doing it. They want some elf and onion soup. I don't even know what that is. Oh, is that the link you, you sent? I'm going to look right now. <laughs> Oh, that's gas. I actually haven't played Gwent, but I heard very good things about it, so. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, this is going to be good. Um, you know what? I'll keep that. I have no reason to ship that. Here comes turn two, turn, turn three to Jeek. Oh, you got it. That is just fine. Oh my god, look what we kept this. We kept this on top. It's such gas. I assume they were going to play that and then into Tajik. So, um, I'm going to keep all the Wishcoin crabs I can on top. Yeah, that's fine. Again, with Tajik, that's pretty good because you can mentor onto them. I, I just have a feeling you have a Tajik in hand. You have two cards. Actually, we can just go... Yeah, we're just going to play Goblin Disinformation Campaign. Did Mike pay his debt to, to the rats? Not yet. He's still. I think he's still sleeping. I don't think he's woken up today, which is pretty unbelievable to me. It's 4 p.m. Like, there's just no reason to sleep that long. Like, he's only off like two days where he can stream, like Tuesday and Wednesday. And so, like, I always enjoy when we stream together on Tuesday and Wednesday. But, like, if you can't wake up before 4 p.m., like, come on. Get it together, buddy. Uh, still two cards, huh? Let's see what happens here. It's a lot of lands. Not loving it. Um... I don't care about that really. And then we can get rid of the last card as well, which is kind of nice. Whoop, all right. So we have no card in hands, no card cards in hand, and we have six cards. That's pretty good. I'm okay with it. Okay, that's enough lands. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. This is 11 lands. 1, 2, 3, 4. We got a crab. Yeah, we can just be aggressive here. We can play like... Yep, definitely keeping that. And now we can go disinformation campaign and crab if we so want. We do so want.
Like this is they're in a point where they have to play everything. Why are you not drawing? Why are you trying so many lands? Uh, Yogam, I don't know if you 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 missed the stream for a bit, so I understand uh, why you might not be familiar with it. But uh, I draw so many lands because that's just how magic works, and uh, that's a thing. That is a thing. So let's surveil and graveyard. All right, so we we avoided that one. That's nice. Now we only have a million lands in the hand. One, two, three, one, two, three, four. So we can go. It might just be better to advance our board here than to replay disinformation campaign. We have things to do, so we can go crab, other sprite, gateway plaza. It's like an old timer's convention. Wow, Chad and Yoakum. The old 56 month subbers together again for the first time. Chad, I also saw you, like, subscribe to, like, some weird, like, it was, like, 2 a.m. or something ridiculous. It was really weird. It was, like, the middle of the night. Thank you so much, buddy. Always appreciate it. I did notice, and uh, I was like, why didn't he just wait until I was live? But either way, thank you. Thank you. Do I change anything? I don't think so. I can see playing Ornery Goblin here. Ornery Goblin's just good. I was worried that my Prime membership was gone. Well, that just sounds paranoid. Sometimes I wake up in the middle of the night and I'm terrified of my Prime membership being gone. Also, I went to... Uh I swung by CBCS today. CBCS, the uh, the comic grading company today, to pick up this bad boy. I'll show it off while we're here. So this is a low grade. It's very very low grade. So I'm 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 okay with that. It is uh it's not it's not actually as it's not as white as it looks. It's definitely yellow, but it's a uh, Amazing Spider-Man 129 first appearance of the Punisher. And um, you guys can show you that. That bad boy. So this is actually a copy I bought probably like 20 years ago. Maybe longer than that, actually. Probably like 22 years ago, I want to say. And I bought it for my friend Robert. And he was like, I have a copy. I have an extra copy of 129. I'm not a big Punisher fan. And I was like, okay, so I'll just pick it up from you. And he was like, yeah, you can have it for like 20 bucks if you want. And I was like, oh, that sounds great. Yeah, let me do that. And so I bought it from him for 20 bucks. And like I said, it's not in super great condition. However, it's still the first appearance of the Punisher. And it still looks cool. And it's great. And I also had uh, I had a higher grade copy, but I sold that recently. But like you can see, like there's a there's a piece missing out of the top there. The back has a little bit missing here. But it's still super cool. It's just nice to have. So. And this hand is good, so we'll keep it. Let's get back to the magic, I guess. You're low grade, get wrecked. Wow, that's real. That's real juvenile. Oh, touch it with your finger oils. <laughs> well, it's in a slab, so I, you know, I'm not really. Uh, <laughs> you know, it's it's okay. We're doing okay. Uh, I had a 6.0, and that sold for about 700. So 1.8, probably not much. Probably like. 150 maybe it could probably go for 152 i would i would i'm just guessing off the top of my head Wow, that's pretty good. They just happen to have the uncommon that kills my uncommon. That's good. What other older comics do I have? I have a first appearance of Thanos, Iron Man 55 up here at 8.5, which is probably my one of my favorites. Um, I have a bunch of old stuff. I have first appearance of Taskmaster. I have first appearance of the Inhumans. Um, first appearance of Dormammu. First appearance of Apocalypse, first appearance of Mr. Sinister. I have a bunch of old stuff. 
I can do a I'll do a comic stream. Yeah, so I ordered I ordered Iron Man 55 off of um off of eBay. I think I got it for like 800 bucks or something back. This was like also 4 or 5 years ago because I was a big Thanos fan. And um they ended up shipping it in like a just a brown envelope, not even a bubble mailer. It was absolutely terribly packed and the slab ended up breaking in transit. And I was like, uh, this is not okay. So <laughs> do you have the first appearance of these? None. No, that's actually really rare. That's a really rare issue. So I'm, uh, I actually don't have that. Interestingly enough. But, um, yeah, so the slab broke and I emailed them and I was like, this is not okay. Like, this is terrible. I can't believe you shipped it like this. This is an $800 book. Like you didn't use insurance. You didn't properly pack it. It was terrible. The, the, the slab was like cracked in the corner. Like it, you could open it. Like it was actually openable. And, uh, I was just completely not thrilled uh, for obvious reasons. And so I'm like, can I get like a partial refund? Because now I'm taking the risk. I have to get it regraded. I have to make sure that it's in the same condition. It could not be. Um, so they gave me like $300 off. It was pretty insane. So I think I ended up paying like 500 bucks for the first appearance of Thanos. And it, and it, and it graded at 88.5 again. It stayed at 8.5. So ended up working out pretty well. I was actually pretty okay with it. Oh, first appearance of Kingpin is also one of my favorites. It's a... Uh, Amazing Spider-Man number 50, I believe. And I think that's a 7.0, the one I have. Yeah, it's 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 where Spider-Man is walking away. Uh, it's one of the most iconic Spider-Man covers ever. And uh, it's first appearance of the Kingpin. I will not block this guy because I cannot block him. It was one of those brown envelopes. It wasn't like Manila, but it was like a darker brown. And it has like a really, really thin, like, like paper compost filling in between it. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? Well, I'd really like a second black source, but we knew this was going to happen, so. And if they have a trick, we can actually keep this up to... Oh, actually, they're not going to... Their trick is going to be to attack with their 4-4 four, four and their 1-3, so... I definitely don't think Defoe's Green Goblin is up there. I don't think he was a good... I don't... I don't know. He's not a bad... It's not a bad portrayal, but I just don't like him as Norman Osborn. Maybe I do. You know what? I don't know. This is six, man. I just do this for two. That seems really underwhelming, especially killing just this guy. I... Michael Clark Duncan Kingpin never forget oh boy oh boy well no blocks again because these guys don't float they have five cards still this is very uh they have four lands we have one two three four five six seven so we, if we could trade three of our lands for three more cards we'd be in the same situation but they're having a lot more mana efficiency thanks to convoke out am I <laughs> oh look look matching rock chargers Dear God. Sure. Yikes. I feel like we're way behind right now. It's not good. Even if we kill one of these, we still take 5,000 damage. I'm basically dying here. I think Xerxes from 300 was a good comic book villain. He was so over the... Yeah, that's actually true.
I'm something of a scientist myself. <laughs> there are, yeah, there's a lot of good William Defoe, Willem Defoe, Willem. I always want to say William. Well, there's a lot of good Willem Defoe memes from, uh, what's it called? Uh, Spider-Man. Spider-Man. Out, am I? So they attack with both these. We double block here. We take four, five, six, seven, eight. Now we're actually dead. This is game. I don't even care anymore. You got it. I don't know why I showed you. I, I wouldn't have showed you that, but I didn't do the math because I'm I'm sitting here chatting with you guys. I'm, uh, we're having a good good little chatterinos. Um, nice card. If this was an instant, it'd be great. We can just block their floaty boys. I'm, I'm a bit of a scientist myself. Wish coin, cra wish coin crab being a 2-5 does match up well against their 4-4s. Four four when you stream arena, do you use the Deckmaster add-on? No, but I have it. Like, it's literally on my desk right now. It's literally on my desktop. I was ready to install it, and then I got... I got look, see right here. Here it is. But then I got under... I got overwhelmed. I was like, I don't, I don't know what's... I don't know if I want to do this. Because Windows was like, this is a... This is a bad program. Are you sure you want to do it? And I was like, oh, I don't know. But it looks like it's working fine now, so we'll see. I'm a bit of a scientist. I actually have my box. Of, my box of, a box of graded comics is like literally right to my, to my right over here. Also, I think I've only streamed Arena like twice so far, so I'm not too I'm not too deep into the Arena streams yet, so that's good. Why do you lock up? They're in a oh, wait. What? Actually, one thing I don't like is I just got this back today, but like this like bottom clip is kind of protruding. And I really don't want it to like, I don't actually know how it works. So I'm having a hard time. I can't like close it, but it looks like it's not on all the way. Which I'm not in love with because I don't really want to have it get a re-slammed. And I don't know if, I don't, I can't imagine it's something you can just pop off with your fingers. Otherwise people can just open comics and take them out. It's the future. Uh, I will play first. Oh, this is it. This is the gasoline again. Here we go. Although we're gonna go turn two knife L sprite, they're gonna go turn two crawl harpooner, and then the the, the gasoline is gonna be Wait, what are you gonna do with extinguished? You don't extinguish it because it's not on fire yet. The gasoline is gonna be uh cleaned up. <laughs> when you draft is there a particular underwear company you have in mind? <laughs> You know, if I'm just sitting... Oh, for crying out loud, why do you have to do this? You know, if I'm just sitting here playing some Magic casually, usually the Thunderwear company that's on my mind is MeUndies, and you guys can you guys can get 15% off if you guys are interested in any uh, lounge pants or, you know, socks or tees or underwear. Uh, they're super comfortable. They're made from micromodal fabric, and they have Star Wars glow-in-the-dark underwear right now. And you can check out MeUndies.com slash Frank if that interests you at all. But, you know, that's just me. And it's free shipping and free returns. So I really don't know what you're waiting for because that's a good deal. And please, everybody needs new underwear. Don't be ridiculous. If you think you don't need new underwear, you probably really need new underwear. That's my that's my opinion on it. So just just go to the link. It's When are we gonna have a MeUndies tasting stream? Um well I've thought about it, and I think never, but uh, why didn't they attack there? I have a lot of confusion in my heart right now. We shouldn't have played the land first because we're going to draw a guild gate. We didn't, thank goodness. Oh, thank the... I'm wearing minis right now and they're so good. I will always show for these. It's so true, right? I have some on the desk right now in case you guys are curious. These are totally clean. I have never worn these. But these are like the softest underwear I've ever felt in my life. It's unbelievable. Um, You wouldn't think it because it's like, hey, it's just one of those internet companies. But they're super comfortable. I would not lie to you guys. Especially about underwear, because that's sacred. 
you lost me at star wars what is that i mean you don't have to get the star wars ones like if you don't like a popular culture thing that other people do like you you can just dislike it no one's gonna stop you y'all need underwear <laughs> y'all need two things jesus and underwear okay Oh, they get rid of healer's hawk okay they're soft because they're made of micro yeah it's michael michael modal i've never placed all my underwear with me. is that true because that sounds like a a decent i don't think we're winning this game okay well that's a good dude okay it's okay just breathe just breathe have a little breath don't care about either of these at this juncture in the game yep bounce this bad boy so next turn we can double disinformation double dis as the kids say we're gonna double dis i own some meandies and they're amazing man you guys are this is great i like that you guys all have like tried them out and uh there's a bunch of solid reviews in this chat this is like the... Ch okay, well, that's pretty good. I don't know how we're ever beating that. Playing two of these next turn surely is not going to get the job done for us. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I guess we'll just go to four here. When are you guys going to do the British... As soon as Mike is here. Like like I said, like he's still in bed now. And it's kind of... It's something. It's a real thing. But, uh, yeah. Thank you. Stoneward, thanks so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Oh, Amuse Drake. Uh, even if we block here, we're dead. Yeah, we're just gonna go to the next game. This was not an ideal, uh, not an ideal game. After this, after this match, I'll bring my comic box over and we can slowly go through it if you guys want. Stoneward, always a pleasure when you sub. I think whatever that means. I actually, just bought some using the Franklin Port discount. I was happily spread. Nice, that's awesome. Sweet. I, I'm glad that like when I'm I'm shilling things for you guys to purchase to help to help support me and to like, you know, to get a cool product out of it. Like, that you like the product. That's great. That's awesome. Uh, how many how many do I have? I mean, I ungraded comics. I have a lot. Graded comics. I probably have about. I probably own some I haven't picked up. I think I have about 30 that I haven't picked up yet. I think I have, I think I probably own about 70 to 80 graded comics, I would say. Uh, I will play first. I will keep this hand. Any hand with Nightville Sprite Disinformation Campaign and, if, and all our colors is probably perfect. I don't hate Star Wars, it's just that everything has to be Star It doesn't have to be, but like if people enjoy it, they enjoy it, you know? But that's the thing, like it's just an option, right? Like you, if you, if you like it, get it. If not, don't get it. That's it. There you go. Nothing has to be. But if it's going to improve one person's experience, that's that's fine, you know. Do the thing. Fan of Zeb Wall Wells. I don't know what Zeb Wells is. Oh, they do have onesies actually. Yes, that's actually hilarious. I'm tempted to block this guy. It means they can't do anything else this turn. Yeah, that's fine. I'm going to look up Zeb Wells now because you piqued my interest. Ah, oh, interesting. Okay. Okay. I can't say I've ever read any of his Spider-Man work. Oh, he sure striked? Oh, that's weird. All right. Well, that's fine. Because next time we can go Sprite and Gateway Plaza, and we just hope we don't fall too far behind. God, we Cosmotronic Wave is like the, the Boros decks are so prevalent that I just want Cosmotronic Wave in all my decks.
what's the what's the verdict here? What are we doing? And that's my November rain. We could just muse Drake, but I'd rather just kind of get this online. We could play this and Island just to keep up uh, expansion. In order to, if they like Sure Strike or something, we can do that. But like, it, just blocking here is. They're probably going to pump pre combat, attack with both. This guy gets mentored onto. Even if we block here, we trade. So it's not ideal. We could also play both of these guys, which could be better. Yeah, let's do that. So here comes the pump, as we predict. Uh, so Riders on the Storm was the result of Command the Storm in the deck, and then November Rain was the result of me seeing uh, my donation goal for November, and I called it November Rain, I mean Rent. And uh, so then that got stuck in my head. So it was like, uh, it's really just I see random words and then I make the song that is most associated with those words. That's pretty much how it works. There's no real science to it. Actually, maybe that is science. I don't know. Oh, what am I? I I, I was once a scientist. I I'm I'm something of a scientist myself. They do have some options here. Oh, they're paying. They have two in the pool. All right. So I thought that. Yeah, we thought that was going to be used to hurt, and it was. All right. Yeah, I'll just 100% block with Pass Wallet up here. Do they have another spell? I don't know. I can't see myself blocking here, and if I'm going to keep one of these creatures, it's definitely going to be the Night Veil Sprite, so... Oh, that's just fine. Oh, that's just fine, isn't it? <laughs> um, I think I will keep that on top and maybe we just play the gateway plaza this turn and do nothing else oh, that seems bad though I don't want to take 5 but man oh actually we're going to play the disinformation campaign yeah okay we'll definitely keep that guy on top yeah that's good I'm game it's a little slow but it is what it is Plus it's a 3-3, so it can block or we can just shoot this guy. Oh, I see. You're getting rid of, oh, you're getting rid of that? Yeah, that's fine. That's okay. Damage is already done, my man. And Welperino. Oh, uh, do I care about this? One, two, three... We'll have three left over. No, we're probably just going to play Muse Drake. I really just want a second red for both the red cards in my hand. Even if we go to six here, they have one card in hand, so I'm kind of okay with it. Oh, here we go. Conclave. Another Conclave Tribunal. Wow. Oh, biscuits and gravy. Red. Um, I'm actually okay with that. If we draw any mountain here, yep, it's a wish coin crab. Okay, so we're just gonna play a bunch of things. Graveyard, you do nothing for us right now. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's really funny that the double red is kicking us right now. We do have seven red mana though. It's not like it's seven red sources, I should say. Uh, I'm real tempted to just shoot this thing out of the sky because it makes our blocks so bad.
And graveyard again. All right. Well, this is definitely helping. Wow, you just, did you top deck something? Or are we just double blocking here? I mean, if you have Sure Strike or... Take Heart is a one for one. Because they can't kill both. And Sure Strike is a two for one. So if you happen to just top deck a Sure Strike, that's fine. I accept. Does not look like you... Oh, it's actually... Oh, oh yeah, never mind. That's not how First Strike works. I'm not smart, but it's okay. We're, well, it's all right. Not, you don't have to be smart to play Magic. That is not how... Onboard tricks. Yeah, exactly. I just totally forgot how First Strike worked for a second. I'll keep you. One, two, three, four. Crab Arena. We're going to keep playing lands because if we hit that second red, uh, we want as large of an explosion as possible, which is a very funny thing to say. Um... Man, you're just top decking all of the amazing enchantments that keep my creatures at bay. I'm impressed. I can't chump block here, right? That's terrible. Oh, we have a deadly visit on top. Oh, God, I don't want to go to three. I'm going to go to three here. That's fine. I do want both of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This will be eight, so we can shoot anything that costs four. They have one card. I'll put. Yeah, we'll keep them both. I think it's. I think it's valuable enough to do so. Uh, we already know what we're getting, so I'm not going to attack here. There's no point in that. Did you ever create or publish a wholly original creative work of fiction? I have not, actually. I've written a few short stories for, like, my degree, but... Yep, that's pretty good. Oh, yeah, I also forgot about the Silent Dark because it was way off in the distance. Like, uh, this is actually pretty bad now. Maybe we should have put Command on top, but I didn't really think about it. I guess we're going to one here. This is actually pretty bad. I'm actually quite surprised that... Because it was so... <laughs> oh, come on. Really? God, we really have to draw something here, don't we? One, two, three, four, five, six, and we're going to hit a land. So we can do this for two. This guy flies. This guy does not. I guess we can just do it for one twice. Oh, uh, we can't actually. We could copy the command, but oh god, that's so bad, right? We could copy current as well. Oh, we can't copy the command. We can copy the current. Um, it does keep us alive. But good lord, any top deck from them, like, I guess we'd still have a current in the graveyard at that point. The alternative is like one, two, three, four. One, two. The alternative is, like, do this for two, hope to draw two, and be able to play something. Yeah, we only need two red mana. Like, it's not... That's fine. This feels so bad. This one's targeting the bird. It's going to ask me if I want the same targets. I'm going to say no. All right. Actually, we should have... We have command and direct current now, so I think we should be okay. Oh, they're so good at this game. It's unbelievable. Amazing. Wall of Mist, you're definitely coming in. <laughs> Cosmotronic Wave, you're coming in. Wishcoin Crab has been better than the Brubble Bubble 1,000% of the time. 
Good lord. I mean that was this was literally this was literally like the hey what 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 can what can go wrong at every ah, again this is like such a good turn two into turn three I don't think we were on the play last game I think we were on the draw right no we were on the play that's weird oh because they played banner on turn one that's why it felt like they got a guy down first because they did I guess there are four cards in the entire set that could win there. Yeah, well, sometimes they, uh, sometimes you eat the bar, sometimes the bar eats you, something like that. <laughs> oh, good times. I saw watch your videos and I'm impressed at how well the opponents draw when you make a turnaround. Yeah, it's I I always think it's me. I'm always like, no, I'm just complaining. I'm just being a biased. I'm just it's just confirmation bias or you know it's just me. Um, not confirmation bias, but like, um, I don't even know what you call it. Me being biased, right? Like me. Maybe it's confirmation bias. I don't know. But um, do I draw on this format? I personally don't, especially against Boros decks. The last thing I'm going to do against a Boros deck is draw because I do not want them to have the start, <laughs> the faster start. Um, I'm going to keep this because it lets us play a four drop if we want. Or we can just play land disinformation campaign, which is nice as opposed to disinformation campaign and not being able to play gateway plaza. So. Probably just going to play Muse Drake here. And we will attack. Um, next turn we're gonna play. Yeah, we can keep that. I don't really need non lands here. I need lands is good. I just feel like I play enough matches where it's like, okay, if you if I'm gonna like I I've turned a corner. And I'm like, okay, if we can both draw like equally, if we're if we both draw on parity, like, I'll probably be fine. But then they always like just draw the like, hey, here's a card that just kills you. Now we can go into the graveyard because this is a a good number of lands, and now I just want to keep options open. Now we just want to hit a Cosmotronic Wave right off the top. If you want to sure strike this guy, that's fine. Sure. That is a Mick OK campaign. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we're good at this game. I'm going to keep both of these on top. Uh, one, two, three, four. Yeah, we're going to keep both of those. Uh, do we attack here? We know what's on top. We can just pass. The one damage is not nearly as relevant as... I mean, if we just want to block here, I'm totally fine with losing this guy to another trick. I was just going to ask you, what did you think about the card that deals one damage to each creature? Oh, it's it's really actually good in this draft format. Like, there's tons of there's tons of decks. Like against the Boros deck, it's very very strong.
Okay, that's actually fine. Yeah, this is going to be pretty rough. One, two, three, four. We have six mana, so this is going to be four. And then we can't do anything else, really. I don't really care about this. I think we're just going to wave here. <laughs> it's pretty strong. <laughs> And they have three cards. Yeah, until we can actually play two things in one turn, I'm just gonna... Actually, we get to draw a card. I'm just gonna play the Disinformation Campaign and hope we draw a land and then we can play Wish Queen Crab. I think that's a better use of mana. And we're going to be able to uh, surveil it back to our hand. So that's pretty sweet. All of our creatures are fours and X4s and X5s and X3s. Bonus, they can't block. That's also true. It's funny because they can't block, so it's actually good in Boros, and it's good against Boros. When they Conclave Tribunal, the Disinformation Campaign, I almost feel like I won because they basically just had to get rid of another card to do that. Uh, we're going to... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. This is 9. I want to put the Guild Gate in the graveyard. I'm just going to keep the land because next turn we can Explosion for something very, very large. Like, we can Explosion for 5 next turn. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Yeah, so the Mountain is... It's not great, but... Sure. Like, this is probably a point where I just go to their face with the Explosion, just because 5 damage to the face is better than 1 damage... 5 damage to a Stray Hawk when I have 2 removal spells in hand. We can also just direct current it if we wanted to, so. Yeah, Drake, Stray, and Rat are all very good, and I also like that they're on 2, 3, and 4. And they're also very good for Severed Strands if you want to sacrifice. Like, this draft format feels really, really uh, well put together. Like, it feels like there's a lot of synergies among the different tribes. Is that what you want to call them? I'm going to draw five, put you to seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think they scooped here. Yep. All right, cool. All right. Seems good. Actually, Warner Goblin is also very good. I can't believe I forgot that guy. I can't believe I forgot that guy. Whisper Agent. Don't really care about Whisper Agent. This game highlights the problem of playing against Boros. Namely, that your life total is much lower and you have... Yeah, that's very true. The Boros decks are actually surprisingly aggressive. Uh, Yeah, I'll keep this hand. Any other land and it's good. Oh, well, no, I think that's true in general, though. I mean, I... <laughs> oh, this game highlights. I thought you meant... See, when you said this game, I thought you meant something else. Cosmotronic Wave, I need you. This is a rough start against, like... Oh, God. Even even Cosmotronic Wave's not great because we're going to take five this turn. See, this is what I meant, though. Because when you when you say things like that, this, these are situations I think about where now I'm at 14 on turn three, and I miss a third land drop. So, again, like, the is it deck does not... just doesn't do it for us, unfortunately. Which is pretty frustrating. Thank you. Oh, the also the other frustrating part right now is that uh, right now we have zero tickets, zero zero packs, and four tickets, so um, not looking great for future future things on Magic Online. Uh, I guess we'll play. We oh God. actually this isn't gonna pump. So this guy could pump. Wow, you could just pump this guy and make this a three three flyer. That's really good.
Urk, thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back. Thank you, thank you. I mean, this has got to be better. Informant helps us scry, though. I don't think either of it matters, I'm going to be honest with you. Like, this is... We're going to take five in the air if they pump this guy twice. Yikes. None of these do anything. And, like, we just don't get to hit our fourth land drop. That's pretty cool. I mean, I think there's one deck you really don't care about hitting land drops against, and it's definitely Boros. Like, if I could choose a deck not to hit my land drops against, it'd probably be this deck. Who needs land drops, am I right? <laughs> Just call her the culprit. Oh, good times. See, this is actually a matchup where Call of the Culprit's very, very good because, yep, go to I'll just go to six here. Yep, cool. Well, that's reasonable, I guess. Tap block, tap tap kill block, maybe. I don't know. How much is a draft league? Ten tickets. I just uh, I th I think it's twelve. I think my point is my point is not like I don't want you guys to like just donate for the sake of that though like my point is that like it's very expensive to stream Magic the Gathering whereas like almost every other game like Overwatch League of Legends Hearthstone you know any other game you're oh we just went to Comic because I was in the middle of it doesn't really matter I don't think um, clearly it's not ideal but I don't think it would have made the difference like we're just way too far behind here I think we're gonna have to block you actually maybe they try to do some shenanigans whatever if they have plus two plus two it's actually so bad eh, let me take another two so we go to if they have, they have plus two plus two and sure strike we're dead so Anyway, my point is that like there's so many other games that you can stream that are just literally free and you never have to spend any money or worry about uh This card is so brutal. Like against the we can kill it and then we just die. Yeah, we're just dead. That's unfortunate. Another one too with an Izzet deck that seems pretty good. With the triple night veil sprite and uh double disinformation campaign, and of course we one two either way oh, i don't know maybe i don't know what to what, what to make of that really like there's a the deck seemed good like double command the storm deadly visit watcher in the mist expansion explosion artful takedown double disinformation triple night veil sprite we had lots of blockers a direct current i don't know what can you do? Either way, thank you guys so much. If you're watching on Twitch, I'm not leaving. I'm just ending the YouTube video. Feel free to check me out on Twitch and Patreon. You can slam those like and subscribe buttons. And as we mentioned throughout this entire stream, check out MeUndies.com slash Frank Lepore for some exceptionally comfortable lounge pants, tees, socks, and unders. Uh, they also have Star Wars glow in the dark ones right now. And they're pretty sweet. So thank you guys so much. You get 15% off and you will also get free shipping and free returns. Just want to make sure I added that part. And I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for the support.